What the hell is going on YouTube? I am so excited for this little series. I'm gonna show you guys what a week in the life kind of looks like for myself, um, how I stay accountable and how I work out, how I eat, how I sleep, how I track it all, how I recover, how I just do everything in a week so you guys can get a little bit of an insight into the life that I live and hopefully take some motivation, take some sort of information out of it that is gonna help you in the long run. It either work out, motivate you to work out, um, give you any tips and tricks as well that might help you stay on task and stay accountable. So the first one that I'm gonna show you is what I have in my room. This is a Monday. Um, I've already this morning done a beautiful workout. I did 100 chin-ups, 200 push-ups, and then I did five minutes on the ski erg, and then five minutes of skipping, and then 10 minutes on the exercise bike. You'll see that all here. That is what I did this morning for my workout, was awake at 5 a.m., as I'll show you my Whoop here as well, so you can have a look. That is where I track all my sleep on. Obviously, the Whoop is a fantastic way to get a really good idea of um, what your sleep patterns are, what your deep sleep is, what your REM sleep is, all that type of stuff, it tracks it all. So. Um, that was my morning then for breakfast. I had a lovely scrambled eggs with some mints, some broccolini and some carrots and some cherry tomatoes, which is fantastic on a piece of bread. And then I also put up the calories that I had um, as well for the morning there. Let's have a look at this room. So this is a little bit of what I like to do to keep myself accountable. So if we come over here on my bedroom, Wall, I've got my goals here. I don't really wanna show you exactly them. It doesn't really matter actually, to be honest. I've got business goals, I've got personal goals, I've got prime unwind goals, and I've got long-term goals. My long-term goals is overall happiness. How are you gonna achieve that? Finances are stable, you've got good people around you, healthy mind, healthy body, passive income, and time to do what you want. So I've got that up there. Then over here, if you have a look, I've got my August challenge on the wall so I can tick that off on the whiteboard every day. And that keeps me super accountable every single day. So as you can see here, we've ticked off Monday, Tuesday. Now I've only gone four out of five, but I'll still give myself four out of five for all of them. Instead of doing a cross, I think four out of five is a little bit more um, positive positive reinforcement rather than just a big cross negative because sometimes life gets in the way, there's things that happen, so four out of five is um, is good enough some days. But we wanna be hitting some more ticks this week. Fingers crossed we can hit all ticks this week. We've got all our running shoes over here, obviously got a fair amount, and our footy stuff for the weekend, which we still haven't um, completely cleaned up. It's difficult being an adult. Anyway, that's enough of a monologue for today. Actually, one more thing before we go. The other thing that I like to do to remind myself is put it up on my mirror in my bathroom, which is also a fantastic way to keep yourself extremely accountable. As you can see here, every time I look at myself in the mirror, I've got those things there to remind me every single day. So there is the few things I like to do to keep myself accountable. It's a Monday, it's a beautiful day, and uh, I am going to get back to work, I'm gonna have a protein shake um, and I'll keep you guys, uh, I guess, updated on everything that I'm doing. That is a massive monologue to start the video. Sorry I went for so long, but welcome to a week in the life. We're gonna keep doing these weekly vlogs, training, nutrition, recovery, and everything in between, baby. Let's go. Monday Arvo protein shake, absolutely smashed. Delicious, I think 60 grams of protein all together with the added milk, two scoops of chocolate, protein, pride protein, baby. It's absolutely delicious. Now we're off downstairs, hit a little bit of a upper body workout. Let's go, baby. Come on. Big bags coming, uh -huh. coming in. Yeah. Flex. I just want to win. Yeah. LA BB, who we running with. Yeah. 2233, I'm on 10 again. All right, we just finished up in the gym. Now, this is obviously the crib here, as you can see. This is the kitchen, etc., etc. So this is downstairs, and then we've obviously got the gym in the house as well, which we're very, very fortunate to have. So there you go, there's a little setup of the gym. We've got all the dumbbells here. We've got the exercise bike at the back. Uh, leg extensions, we've got all the cables in here with the Smith machine. We've also got a bench press here. We've got all the weights, a ski erg, and obviously a couple of mirrors and a few other bands, kettlebells, that sort of stuff. So we're absolutely fortunate um, and super grateful towards Sumo Strength who sorted us out with everything. So I've got a mad gym in the house, which we are just so happy with. So that's the setup. Um, it is 7.33 now. I know that this clock over here says 8.33, but that is on daylight saving time and I haven't changed it back. Now it's time to eat some dinner. 
Let's get it. For entree, I'm just gonna have a little salmon cup in tomato and onion. These are so delicious and so good as well because not only do they have uh, a lot of protein, 12 grams as you can see here, but they've also got good fats, really important fats uh, as well, and not too many carbs. So it's a fantastic little entree meal. Now this is gonna be dinner right here. What we've got is uh, a little bit of lean beef mince and then also lean pork mince that I've cooked up this morning with some carrots and broccoli. We've got kewpie mayo, we've got some soy sauce, some seasoning, sushi rice seasoning, which you can just get at Coles, and then some basmati rice as well. We're just gonna put that all up together and create something beautiful. I don't know if this looks appealing to you guys, but these are so delicious. I've put, obviously, in some beautiful sushi rice seasoning. Ah, the bowl is too hot. But yeah, that's the dinner. It's absolutely lovely, and I can't wait to get stuck in. Let's go. Good morning, 5 a.m. Let's get to work. It is freezing and it is like foggy. Dude, it looks like there's like heaps of like, oh, it's raining. Bro, what? Or is that just fog? Look at it. It feels like Halloween. Let's go. 6 a.m. As you can see, I know that this one says 7, but it's not. It's on daylight saving time. I'm trying to be quiet because we've got other people sleeping in the house. But me and Charlie, me and sleeping. Not about that light. 6, we're going to get a nice early morning workout in. Um, yeah, I guess. I started the morning with 100 push-ups, 100 sit-ups. Um, and yeah, let's get the grind on, baby. Come on. <music> So we just smashed a great gym session. Now there, obviously we woke up at 5 a.m. We hit a little bit of back and a little bit of legs there today, which was absolutely fantastic. And now we're off for a morning 5K run. It is 8 a.m. in the morning. And then that'll be my two workouts done for the day. I'm gonna go do some breathing tonight uh, at the breath house. So uh, I'll do that tonight, but today, um, if I can get my first two workouts done in the morning, then we're good to go and we can start work by 9 a.m. easily. 5k run all done and dusted that was a really nice recovery slow run so tick that off now we are on our way um, to grab some breakfast with a mate um, catch up a little bit um, I'll update you guys as the, uh, on the food that I eat as well um, probably tonight but for now the morning is one let's get it wow just did um, some breath work and stuff which was fantastic did a little bit of work in the afternoon as well Today was a fantastic day. We can put the tick up for Tuesday as we hit all five of our goals. Wake up 5 a.m., eight hours sleep, two workouts a day, no alcohol, 160 grams of protein today. Did an amazing breath work, yoga, yin session this afternoon, which is uh, this evening, which is great. And then finished off um, with a fish bowl, which is uh, basically just like a mixture of all these beautiful um, flavors of um, salads and rice and chicken, it's incredibly healthy. So end up eating out, which probably don't want to do that much, but it was fine to do because it was obviously with some friends and stuff after yoga. Um, so yeah, breathwork yoga, very good. And that's another tick on today. All the information's obviously been up here. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all I've got for you today. Good night. Good morning, 5.22, obviously been awake for a little bit of time. Um, he's freezing, but it's the morning. I might start off 100 push-ups, 100 sit-ups. Now guys, also, this is what I've got on. These are gonna be the new sweatpants, as you can see. And these are really, really cool. As well, we've got um, matching cream hoodies, which just arrived, so stay tuned. New sweatpants, baby. They're coming soon. Ladies and gents, that is a wrap of another splendid day. Uh, I think we ended up getting like four workouts in, three or four workouts in. How many did we do? We had footy training. Um, 
let's start from the start actually. So we got up in the morning early um, and then we had a gym sesh with Tommy Rowland, which was fantastic. Um, had a few uh, different things happening today, obviously. Bro, can Siri shush the hell up? Um, a few different things that we had on today. We had a quick apple for breakfast. Um, and then we, uh, actually we did only have two workouts today. No, we didn't, we had three, because then we went and did boxing after that, which was massive. Then we went and had a potty. Then after the potty, um, come back, had a little bit of food, a little bit of lunch, which was great. Had an iced coffee as well, which was lovely. And then we, uh, we linked into footy training in the afternoon, had a protein shake before going to footy training, then had footy training. Then after that, we went back home, played some 2K with my boy. It's 9 p.m. now, so I've got to get to bed. Um, and then we had uh, the same pretty much thing as lunch, which was like pork mints, beef mints, some um, carrots, vegetables, spinach, kewpie mayo, and basmati rice, which was delicious. Heaps of protein in that, fantastic. And then finish off with dessert, which is just a Nutella piece of toast. Good fats, good carbs as well, because my carbs were a little bit low, so I thought I'd just top it up with a nice little treat. Nutella toast is fantastic, and it's so delicious. So that's pretty much the day. Got a heap of workouts in. We ended up burning 3,550 calories, so a massive day. Um, and that's a, another four out of five because we only had six and a half hours of sleep, as you can see here. But that's another four out of five days, so I'll chalk it up on the board. Good to go. I'm gonna go shower, brush my teeth, get into bed in the next five to 10. Guys, that is a beautiful Wednesday. Third day in a row, smashing it. And also, that's gonna be day number 10 that we're ticking off. Oh, so happy. Let's go. Good night. Good morning, everybody. It's 5 a.m. in the morning. We're off for a morning swim. Let's go. 1K done, baby. That was... 1K done, baby. I'm not a swimmer. I'm not a swimmer. Ben's just going to come for the sauna. Just for the sauna. But me, I put the hard yards... Ladies and gentlemen, that is a wrap for our Thursday. Woke up early this morning, went and smacked a massive one kilometer swim, and then banged out a 30 minute sauna with my boy Ben. Come back, had a uh, good uh, chicken wrap, um, kind of to start off the day. Then had some meetings, uh, had some scrambled eggs. As the day went on, um, obviously had a lot of work to get through today. So that was a very, very, very busy day. Um, so had the kind of two workouts in the morning, which was just amazing um, because it means you can kind of chill out and rest for the day. Did a stretching session this afternoon, protein shake, and then had a fantastic dinner, which was so goddamn good for dinner. Um, had kind of like chicken, rice, vegetables, and kind of a salad as well. So fantastic day all together. I think we hit about 11 on the daily strain on Whoop. Our recovery still hasn't been that good. It's about 8.30 now. I'm gonna try and get to bed, get my eight hours sleep. I'll see you guys in the morning. Let's go. Yes, so, all right, ladies and gents, that is gonna be a wrap for this uh, little vlog week in the life. Now, I know and apologize that it has been um, kind of just me talking to the camera with overlays. I'm gonna do uh, much better ones of these as we do continue to go. It'll be nice when Lou gets back because we'll be training together a lot, so we'll just bring along the camera and we can actually upgrade the, um, I guess, the the quality of these vlogs, so apologies for that. Um, it will be less of me talking and more of me actually doing it. But hopefully you have enjoyed, um, kind of just a bit of an insight into the life of nutrition, training, all that type of stuff. Obviously it's Friday today. Today is more of a rest day, but we did go get some work in the gym this morning, um, which was fantastic. And then for breakfast, uh, just had scrambled eggs, so nothing crazy in a piece of banana bread. Um, it's about three o'clock now. I'm about to head off to Wangrata, so you will have to tune in tomorrow for the uh, game day vlog. Make sure you're ready to go for that. Um, but for now, that'll be me done. Um, and if there's anything else that you guys want to see, comment down below or like any improvements to these, because it's obviously my first time doing it. It's going to get better and better as we go along. So please go and comment down below what you want to see more of, etc., etc. But that is it for today. I love you guys so much. Stay beautiful. Stay sexy. LFG.